Hello friends, in this video, we will see some problems based on sets and indices. So for example, if a is equal to b to the power of x and b is equal to c to the power of y and c is equal to a to the power of z, then find the value of, then find the value of uh, x, y, z, then find the value of x, y, z. So we have to find the value of x, y, z. Okay. So now from this, given that a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of x, b is equal to c to the power of y, and c is equal to a to the power of z. So now I will take this one, that is c is equal to a to the power of z. Okay. So in this equation, what I will do, so what I will do, a is equal to what is given? It is a is equal to given is equal to b to the power of x. So I will substitute that one here. a is equal to b to the power of x and power to the z. Power to the z. So this one can also be written as b to the power of xz. Why? Because we have a formula in the search that is a to the power of m to the power of n. So m bracket is going to be equal to a to the power of mn. So using this formula, I can write this one as like this. So now we have b is equal to c to the power of y. b is equal to c to the power. So I will substitute that one. c to the power of y to the power of xz. So again using the same formula, I can write this one as c to the power of xyz. So here the c is equal to this one. c is equal to c is equal to c to the power of xyz. So the c can also be written as c to the power of 1. So that means the bases are same. So that means the exponents are going to be equal to that is x, y, z is equal to 1. So the value of x, y, z is 1. The value of x, y, z is 1. So I hope you got this one. And we will take another example based on the search and indices. So let us consider if x by y to the power of a minus 1 is equal to y by x to the power of a minus 3. So then find the value of then find the value of a. We have to find the value of a. We have to find the value of a. Okay. So so if you see this one uh, according we have a formula that a to the power of minus 1 can also be written as 1 by a. So, a to the power of minus 1 is equivalent to 1 by a. So, that means the numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator and power will become minus 1. Power is multiplied by minus 1. So, here we have plus 1. Here we have plus 1. So, a to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 by a to the power of plus 1. So, in general terms, a to the power of minus m is equivalent to 1 by 1 by a to the power of m, 1 by a to the power of m. So in the same manner, x by y is equal to, is equal to, so y by x can be converted into x by y, x by y, so then we use minus before the exponent, before the exponent, okay, using this formula, okay. So, so then, in both sides, in both sides, if you see, uh, the denominator is the same. I mean, the base is the same. So, x by y to the power of 1. Here, x by y to the power of minus a minus 3. So, that means, so, the bases are same. So, the exponents are going to be same. So, 1 is equal minus of a minus 3. So, that is going to be, so, 1 is equal minus a and plus 3. Minus a plus 3. So, this equation, if you rearrange this equation, a is equal to 3 minus 1. So, that is going to be 2. So, the value of a is 2. The value of a is 2. So, I hope uh, you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.